Hello folks, and welcome back to our Rack Sewage series here on Alma, Missouri. We're in February, and we're going to be very quickly going into March very soon. But first of all, we're going to go do some few things. So we accepted a contract on 16. Didn't do a wheel spin because that's the only contract available. However, in this episode, we're going to be purchasing our farm. So a couple of episodes ago, we spun the wheel and we got plot 10. So I'm going to purchase that now. Because, yeah, to do this cultivator contract, I do want to get an upgrade on our some of our equipment. So, having a look here, we do have a sprayer here. Actually, wouldn't it be too bad, you know? 8,000 8, in capacity, that would really make a very good deal for us. 9 grand extra for the boominat. However, I want to try to prioritize more land, so... I think what we're going to do is do a wheel spin on our next plot of land because yeah, I want to purchase more equipment get more land in. Also, I want to upgrade our some of our equipment as I mentioned. So, we got a subsoiler but we didn't have a cultivator in that so, so that's our ploughed subsoiler. But yeah, I want a ideally a cultivator or a disc harrow. However, the wheel of cultivation is going to be spinning so that could mean power harrows, disc harrows or cultivators. As long as I don't get power harrows, because these are really small. Yeah, small, 8 meters at best. And yeah, I really hope we don't get any of those. So yes, yeah, spin the wheel. Determine the economy setting. What land we're going to be purchasing next. As well as the wheel of cultivation on cultivator, disc harrow, or a power harrow we're going to be having. <laughs> Alright, interestingly, we got plot 22, so that is this one here. 900 grand. Ouch. And yeah, that's going to take us a while, I think, because. Yeah, call me sounds for this episode, or at least this month. Yeah, I'll say this episode is normal. But yeah, so we got our a cultivator, no, sorry, not cultivator, disc arrow net, so. I got a couple of ideas ones we can have. 9.8 meters for 11 miles an hour. Got a couple ones. 10.4 meters. Also, that can do cultivating as well as plowing. So, I think that could be a good option. But then the case one here. Oh, which one? I'll, I think I'll go with this one because yeah, I think a cultivator and a plow will be beneficial for us. Also I've got to double check the horsepower horsepower of our tractor, 355, so this shouldn't have any issues whatsoever doing it. So I think we'll go with a red or yeah red, yellow or that orange again. Actually what we'll I think we'll go with a class green to match our tractor net so lovely jubbly. That's going to cost us uh, 76000 But yeah, what I'm going to do is, since that is a culty plow we just purchased, Sub Soldier, I'm just going to sell. Yes, I could have got a bit more money taken to store, repair, and all that. However, I don't think it's going to be worth it. So, we've got deep snow here. So, this is Senabuki's uh, famous and infamous work. So,. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, especially getting across it like this bit here. Not too bad. But now we're going off. In fact, we do have a track on this, so oh, this is gonna be really bumpy, in that. But yeah, let's get to the roads. Quick to do field 16, the contract, and then whilst we're over there, we got fields 11 and 12. So yeah, actually, do they have crops in, ready to be planted, or ready planted? 
That's ploughed, right? So yeah, ooh. That's gone a bit too far. See, I've got some ideas. I'm thinking of what to do is... Since that's already ploughed... Merge 11 and 12 together. Also, my wife's trees and that. Like, using the devour net. I'll come back for that later on. That's at the store next to the trail net. But yeah, we'll quickly do that in this episode. And then... Yeah, we'll start looking at the farm afterwards. And then I think we'll skip to March because... Unless there's any more contracts popping up, there is nothing else we can do. Can't plant anything now. We technically can cut the grass in that. Because, yeah, the grass is on 35 to 40 in that little section over there. That's all ready to go. Once again, I'm going off that, so... But yeah, 22. That is, is that the biggest field on the map? I think that is the biggest field on the map. Christ. It helps if you actually focus where you're going. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Don't tell me you're beached. Okay, let's drive up here. <laughs> Thankfully that side is destructible or drive through a ball. But yeah, so let's get this contract done. Get some log logging equipment over and out so the trader and the devourer. But yeah, before we cut the trees down, Amber's will feel as well, we'll have a look at the farm. Contract is completed as we've just hit a bloody pickup and that. And yeah, it should pay attention because now oof, that was close. That is some very close clearances. I'll get off this bridge very quickly on onto our farm. And there we go, there was our farm as well over there and that. So yeah, haven't bought stuff over yet. For what's over here, have a quick look. But yeah, whilst I was doing that contract on 16. That took a lot longer than it should have, because, yeah, it was a pain in the ass, to say the least it was, so. Anyways, we're at our farm now, so. Uh, where's the turning area? Oh, I guess it's somewhere here now, we should have a little plow or something. But yeah, here we are, we're at our farm, so. Let's go. Yeah, first of all, contract complete, so we've got our silo. Got some sheds and that. And actually, what I want to look at was is that a animal pen we've got on the farm? It is uh, a pig barn. That is not really what I want in that, so. Turn on interactive markers. So, yeah, I thought it was going to be like a pig farm or something because. Ugh, dang it. How much are we going to have? 108 pigs. I was thinking, I don't need to spin a wheel on this, so maybe we'll do a wheel spin on breeding it. But yeah, do I just... Yeah, I don't have the facilities to provide them, so... Do we... Do I say, get rid of the pig barn? How much should we get back? I think, what well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell that pig barn. We'll get maybe more animals later on. Because, yeah, of course, there is a will spend for the animals, so don't worry about that. But, yeah, there are a couple of options, to say the least. Some by Sabuki in that, some by, like, Mrs. Omatana. And also by Sabuki, just with the map itself. So, 6,000 for 1,000 chickens. Compared to 450, 400, 800, 500. So, but yeah, it would be something like chickens or sheep or goats. 
well, not goat as such, but you know what I mean, sheep milk and that. But yeah, so my thinking is, actually, do we have a farmhouse as well? Yes, so I don't need to sleep in the middle of nowhere and that. So yeah, we've got a couple of sheds and that, that's good. we got fields and that, which at the moment you can't really see too much because of that deep snow. There is a track that goes along down to the river in it. Yeah, this is liable to be flooding, so I do need to be a bit wary on that. So yeah, literally, that little road down there, or little stream, sorry, that is the border, so... Actually, we've got the tree. Anyway, we've got access upwards to the edge of the road and to the train track, so we've got a bunch of trees here, trees here and that. Up to the junction on the road and up along that edge of the road, so I think potentially this could set us up pretty good. So obviously last episode was it chipping away towards the farming app, so I'm not gonna show another time lapse because there's so much I want to do this episode, including plowing this field together. And also when we go into March we will have the option to plant either wheat yeah, wheat, oats, sunflower. Actually, I think what I may do is all the crops you can plant between March and May, June-ish. I do will spend on all of them. So that's pretty much every crop type, including grapes and olives, which I really hope we don't get. Actually, as well, what crop type is in 22? Um, was it barley? Top barley, but that, that's exactly the same, right? Ah, wait a minute, no, it's rye, so... The thing is, that's a straw crop, so rye... That is down here, so yeah, that'll be ready to harvest in June or July, so... I need to get 900 grand, so... 700 grand between now and... June. Unfortunately, at the moment, yeah, the wheel spins... We're on normal economy, so... How much are wood chips at the moment? So, wood chips. Uh, where are you? Two wood chips. Do you see them earlier than that? Wood chips, there we go. Okay, still a thousand at the train, and they're at the maximum peak price at the moment, so. I think, you know what, that's what I have to do is. Yep. Because, yeah, I'll have to get rid of all these trees here. I may plant some trees down the road, but at the moment I need some money coming in because I want to get field 22 before June in that, and I don't know how this school come together like with our other stuff in that, so the contracts in that, so... Yeah, what I'll do is I'll get the logging done off camera a sec, and then, yep, yeah, I'll see folks when we've got the train all ready to go, you stupid fucking car. Watch where you're going. Okay, yes, I mean I should have indicated, but still. You see, if I, you see a tractor pulling out, which I have in real life, and that. You don't play chicken, you don't, oh, I'll just go plow into a tractor when I can easily stop in time. You know what I'm saying, that, and it's deep, sir, not normal concrete, that, no asphalt. But anyways, enough random rambles on. But yeah, so I'm going to do that log in a sec, and yeah, I'll see you folks in, what, an hour or so? Shouldn't take us too long, if anything, to be fair, the longest part of this is going to be the actual journey, that. I'll mean, try to stay on the road in that, so at least we're not affected by speed, but at some point I do want a more faster tractor because 26, 27 miles an hour is okay, but I need a tractor so I can do like 34, 40 miles an hour. Maybe even get a lorry now, a lorry, no lorry, car in that. And yeah, I can see all those cars behind me queuing up. So right, overall it was worth it. We've got 153,000 litres of wood chips, so that's going to lead us to about 155, 160 grand in profit. So, we're going past the farm, and yeah, it looks a little bit different about the trees. But yeah, trust me, it is worth it. I will be replanting trees as I go forward down the road. 162 grand, so at the moment we're on 375 grand and we're one step closer of hitting 901,655 dollars 
there we go. Now I was just doing um, what was it? Uh, my ten thousand cow challenge. Um, yes, I've seen that. So that's why the units and pounds. But yeah, so now I think what I do is I take tax. Yeah, I'll take it up to the farm now. So I'm going to be the easy and go across the train tracks here. I can't see this going wrong at all. So yeah, go across the tracks, go to the farm, and yeah, I think. I think I'm going to skip until March because, yeah, I could do the cultivate now and plowing, that's all good. However, I want to see the boundaries perfectly in that, so. Also, I should go along the train tracks here. Ain't too bad since the rest of the deep snow has been cleared by the trains. Ooh. What was that? I must have hit a little berm or something, or. Got caught on the tracks and that, so. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I'll do is. I guess parked up, putting it away in storage. I know I've got other stuff downfield too and that, that I could deal with some processing, but I think that will wait. And yeah, so we'll go to March. I'll spin the wheel on what crops we're going to be planting between now and June and that. So yeah, that gives us things like the corn, soybeans, sunflower and that. As well as grapes now. And I really hope we don't get grapes because... Yes, I know there's some mod that the cheap vineyard stuff and that can be used to plant grapes and that, that's not a problem. However, it's the equipment. I can't guarantee we're gonna have the equipment and that, so you know, as well it's just case off doing it and that. Yeah, I know grapes are okay profit wise and that, but things like grass, corn maize for base silage and that. Even like potatoes and sugar beet and that, potatoes, sugar beets, it's good profit stuff. Not sure on, on the likes of peas and that, because yeah, I haven't really done a test of them yet. But yeah, so let's get this all done, and I'll see you folks in the morning. So right, we're in March, and once again we're doing more contract work because there is no other contracts available. Besides from there was four stone contracts, but obviously ones where I got picked up. However, I borrowed equipment from Field 10, which requires planting sunflowers. Also got 19 and 7 to do, so we'll do 7, then go up, do 10, and then do 19. Actually 19 is just crossed from our farming now, so but yeah, at the moment, so see some fields must be already drilled because they got rid of snow now, like on 13 now. That must be already drilled, so if we look at the fields at the moment, uh, yeah, that's just been planted along with 23. 20. So we've got chances of contracts coming up on 1, 28, 26, 30, 30, oh, sorry, 32, 33, and 34. That's still saying it's been harvested. So, actually, oh, wait a minute, no. Has that changed or what? Because that says it's been cultivated. Don't tell me that's going to be a bug field, because that field there, 34, that would be a nice field to either have as a purchase, or at the very least, you know. Have a contract on that field. I really hate when that happens, so I think we're just gonna have to see what happens. But yeah, I'm going to do sugar beet on seven, sunflower on ten, then 19 on sugar beet. But yeah, we only got 2,000 liters. So I did purchase a large bag of seeds, so we use half of it, and the bag costs 2,700. So, what I'm gonna do once again before we do stuff on the farming that, we still got snow here, so rather than you know, show me struggling in snow. I'll get this done now. I'm going to type back on times one. Just put it down one of those pools and that. Like, you know, accepting the contracts and that, getting things set up and that ready. But yeah, so I'll do this off camera a sec and then we'll come back on to hopefully either do work on the main farm or if we get more contracts popping up, then I'll just do those. But that's the thing is, if it's multiple contracts types popping up, then I'll do. I'll come back, do wheel spins, or wheel spins, sorry, and then yeah, we'll get it done in order, so. But yeah, if it's like with the cultivating and so where it's only one contract type is showed up then, I'll instantly do those and not have to do a wheel spin. I think that's fair now, so yeah. Bear me a few, I'll say, what, an hour or so, so yeah. I'll probably get this done, go to bed and work, because at the moment it is... 9 o'clock on Sunday, so yeah, I'm gonna try to make it in about an hour or so because yeah, I'll get up at 4 for working at so 
Yeah, yeah, so now I was getting sleep now, but yeah, just a little thing I will mention, so even though this will probably come out either on Monday or Tuesday. At that moment I've got bike troubles at the moment, so that means I'd get the bus into work now, so rather than being what a twenty-five minute commute, now it turns into like an hour and ten, hour and twenty minutes commute, so well yeah, I'm a fucking hour earlier than normal, but here's what it is, so yeah. I'll see you folks when we're done, even though in real life it may be another day or so because if we get mods dropping on Monday, I will prioritize those because at the end of the day, I'm trying to grow my viewer base out, get more subscribers, get more views on the channel. Yeah, this weekend has been just pretty much a bit of a complete wipeout because just, yeah, I think to be honest, just being a bit down in the dumps out because using a friend's bike out moment to transport to work. That's obviously gone packed up now. It sounds like a cam chain tensioner has gone wrong on it, so yeah, that needs to replace another ice engine is gonna blow up, so I do have a bike myself, a nice little bobber and that, but that needs some part apart for it and fortunately paid a until a week. Well, less a week when this comes out, but yeah, end of the month now I get paid, so Oh uh, yeah, so I'm a, yeah, that's just a couple of days just being a bit down in the dumps now. And to be honest, yeah, I'll admit to that. A bit down in the dumps, look uh, depressing, I probably so <laughs> little bits here and there, but it is it is what it, it is what it is at the end of the day, so but yeah, that's the thing I love about farm cinema you know, just relax and chill. So yeah, over the weekend, all I've been doing is really yeah, not make content work. I have done some scripts and that for two videos I want to do. Either one, yeah, one may or may not perform well in that, so depends on what it is now. But another one is in relate to PS5 and consoles and that, so stay tuned for at least that coming out sometime this week and that, so. But, anywho, I mean, we are doing good. I'm looking at this drill. Now. Actually, is this the horse? Agri yeah, this is part of the horse pack I've got enabled in that, so. At the moment, 20% and we've used 10% of the seed, so I think we're going to have to make multiple trips, and I think what I'm going to do is, if I go to Cedars and that, I want a little hopper on the front, 1,500 litres, yeah, I just want a little hopper on the front, as I can do a seed, seed extension that, so 1,600. I think, you know what, that will do. And actually, that'll match up with this, in a way, in that, so... Yeah, that cost us a thousand, but... Yeah, I think we're going to need that to get to drill that, so... I'm going to get all this work done. I'll include screenshots in that, maybe a couple of little clips out of us... Actually, no, not clips, because... Not be sending anything, unless to get the contracts on 35 to 40. I'd love for that to pop up at some point, but... Yeah, I think at the moment so ain't forecasted to melt until what ten o'clock in that because yeah, nine o'clock now. So yeah, temperature should go up any minute now from minus twenty four to forty degrees Celsius. That's what I call global warming, folks. Go from a forty degree difference in what a span of an hour. If that's not global warming, then I do not know what it is. Uh, probably a bit of BS in that, but anyways. <laughs> I'll get this done, and I'll see you folks in a short while. So, alright, it's gone 2 o'clock. Hopefully, I've just included some screenshots. I should do that in post editing. But yeah, we've done a lot of contracts, and now we're at 421 grand. And that's because of, yeah, I did a bit of a sneaky tactic with some of the first contracts we've popped up. They popped up one by one, like with seeing contracts, so I didn't do a wheel spin because I didn't think it was needed. But yeah, so I spent I think about 35 grand, 30 grand upgrading the class section from the 930 to the 960. So it's gone from thinking if I get up here on, on the dealer chef, I think it went from 350 to 450 horsepower. Something along those lines of that, so there we go. So yeah, we had the 930, 355, and 445, add a bit of 90 horsepower. That was needed with the drills and that, because, yeah, the 
horse one that we was using was okay in that. However, it was really slow in that. So I've gone and spent some grand at least in this to Great Plains. And I've kept it from you keep it to the end of the month, maybe into April and that, because I'm thinking we can do with use that to potentially plant our own crops and that because if we get a say, you know, cotton to plant or sugar beet to plant, then we're gonna need a planter for that, so we don't want paying the extra daily fee on, on it, so I think if we go to our tools, actually how much is it to lease in that and Actually, how much is it to buy outright? I think it's about 100 grand. 142 grand, so... The daily fee is 1,400 bucks, so... That I do not mind paying. But yeah, so I've got all the war equipment over ready now. I've got one set this farm up in that. First of all, I'll start off with, you know, putting our mulcher and our roller in this little garage over here. Until we get, I know... A, not a lorry now, a little pickup truck in that. I may get a pickup at some point, but as I mentioned in the previous episodes, I'm going to have free reign on what I choose for decoration. So I want a car charge jet washer, please. So that will go there. I'll put another one here. And I know spending a bit of money, maybe a bit unnecessarily in that, but I like this now. I like the idea of it. So go one. Also, I'll put another one on this site. Oh, come on. Because, yeah, this is going to be where I spawn and a reset point for this, so... There we go. And now, we've got silos and that, we've got sheds and that. That one is useless, so... What I'm going to do is... I've got my own sheds now I want to place down, so... What I'm going to do is... Remove all these sheds and that. And, yeah, remove the rubble. So yeah, we've got a bit of a blank, uh, a blank scheme in that, so what I'm going to do is, potentially when we create a mega field in that, I want this to come up, also little sections over here, maybe create a small field in that, so yeah, we can go up to the road here in that, so mind the pylons in that. However, I'm thinking of, it's time to get some productions in, you know, greenhouses or orchards, I do have a lot, a lot of these, so how much would be this place down? So 15 grand plus landscaping, so 16 grand. So ideally, on places like maybe around the house and that. So you're gonna go one, two potentially there. The land will deform down, so that I do not mind. You know, a bit of deformation in that, so. Oh yeah, also get rid of you, because yeah, I've got my own eye on the side though. I'm not sure if that's a multi-fruit one, so I'm not going to take a risk on that, so... I want some sheds now, at least one shed that can hold, you know, a large section of equipment. And there we go, thinking something like that as part of the open sheds pack. What I'm going to do, first of all, is do a small bit of landscaping. So, I'm going to say, pick my level point. There we go. And yeah, just do a little, a little bit of level in that. And then, yeah, soften the terrain. Yeah, mainly soften it here where the hedgerows is. There we go. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, back to the sheds and that. And yeah, i got so many sheds and stalls. I've got so many ammo ones and that. You know, like the workshop ones, like these ones are good in that. Like, don't get me wrong, these ones are good. Also got ones by I think ICAS, I got ones by Superfly 1842 and that. I got so many good sheds in that, but at the moment for the far and for size and that, yeah. What well, do I go to the large one? To be fair I'm thinking something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, right close to the house. Because, yeah, that gives us then space, you know, to get creative stuff down the road. So, now go to landscaping. Got so many textures and that, so... I'll try and match this and that, so not that. It's alright, I couldn't find the exact textures I wanted. 
Actually, I thought it would be one that would be put down by Celebuki, but apparently not. So, just go along here and that. So, yeah, you know, a little bit of gravel into the shed area and that. And overall, with the terrain and that, not too bad. It's nicely leveled. Maze thinking of, you know, flat this out on the end, so pick a level. And there we go, so it just brings it up a little bit, you know, bring it to the level that. There we go. And then you almost get rid of that shrub and that. So back to paintings. And now to match this. I think that's like a not gravel or concrete, so or asphalt. That would do. So yeah, it's making you just get rid of that little shrubbery there. And yeah, again, I think in actually can we remove these ones here, these little hedgerows, because if I can remove just a little bit over here and that thinking thinking of, you know, create a little bit of access. Nope. Do not want that. I think I may have just found out the answer to my question, so... Asphalt, was it? There we go. And yeah, I have a little asphalt there to the road. Oh, actually, bear me a sec whilst I smooth this out a little bit. There we go, something like that. A little tie up to touch us here and there. But yeah, so I thought also put a nice white picket fence down since we're in America and that. And I made this go all the way around. Down to our farmhouse. And yeah, I think leveling this out may be a slight mistake because as you can see, there is a little culvert over here. So I'm guessing when the water drains and that down somewhere, or at least yeah, for somewhere maybe from ah yeah, so from over here goes across the road. Oh no, that comes out there, so culvert somewhere over there. It comes through here so it doesn't flood this road. Ah yeah, there's a little ditch over here so the water can run down and then eventually back into the river and that. So we may have a little bit of an issue with flooding and that, but that I'll come and deal with as and when. So there we go. Got our shed for all of our equipment. And now for a side and that, so I'm thinking of AJ stuff and that. That's the one we just had that 50 grand. American Bar Monsters this one by Mrs. Omatana, I think, is it? I'm not sure. Got so many sides in that, so solid wood. Like these ones would be actually very nice. Ooh, green pro green quid what was it? Green quid pro weather storage. Again, I'm using that on what's it? Or sub not survival challenge, um, rags to rich, not rags to riches, um, 10,000 cow challenge, that's it, so, I may want to avoid that, a big old American silo, multi fruit as well, so, I'm thinking that should be quite good, so, if I whack that here, there we go, something like that, and yeah, well, a nice little farm setup beginning, and then I'm thinking, for the time being, do we create a big field up to here? I think you say if we do it up to here, where this where the old pig barn that used to be now, where the old sheds are. Because yeah, I want to keep this relatively flat. Because then actually, I'm thinking if we flatten it out now, this would be a good area for some greenhouses down the road and that. So level. There we go. It cost me maybe a couple of grand, but... There we go. Something like that. That would do us just fine. And then, yeah, just a little bit of touch and smooth in that, so... Yeah, I think this will be a good area for greenhouses and orchards and that. Uh, yeah, I know I'm saying... Oh, no. <laughs> Lose my train of thought here, but... I know we're aiming for, you know the big mega fields. However, we've got our first farm here, so 
I don't guarantee we're going to have any other bigger farmers anytime soon, so... Well, yeah, speaking of which, so greenhouses and mineral orchards, so... How many of these can we put down potentially? I will do a wheel spin. So... Ooh, not a lot, so... Maybe like two orchards in that? Ooh, we've got olives now, we can do olives. Ooh, olive trees. That is something else. Oh, you got the die hoods or herbal tea now, and that is a crazy production to have. Generators, what do I have over here? Solar panels, many solar panels, solar farms and that. These would be good, you know, 15 grand a month now, potentially. Thinking, ugh. Downside is, it just doesn't look too right here. That's the, <laughs> that's the only downside. So, I'm thinking, yeah, let's do a wheel spin off the crops we're going to be doing. And also, greenhouses or orchards. And I think it's fair to say, I can pick what we want. But the rule is, it's got to suit the farming at. So, it can't be nothing stupid in that. So, for example, uh, I think actually, not sure. I don't think any of these are stupid in that. But yeah, let's do a wheel spin. And then, uh, yeah, go from there and figure out what we're going to be doing. And alright, so the wheel has determined greenhouses. And I did add the options of the orchards with productions and greenhouse with productions because there are a couple that I could have used. So, for example, I could have got apples and done apple tree production now, or like get apple juice in that. That's from, I think, Mrs. Yeah, Mrs. Obaton on that. But yeah, so greenhouses is what it is. So, again, I think that's something that is... Nope. Uh, that's close enough. Thinking... Maybe if I made it a bit wider than that. So yeah, if I can make it a, a touch wider. Get one, get two in. And, yeah, maybe something along down here, possibly. Yeah, I think if I level this out as well, then I think, yeah, so... Let's just do a little quick time lapse, get everything done, and then, yeah, we'll start finally creating the mega fields. And then, yeah, also, yeah, I forgot the wheel as well, determined peas and that. So, we'll get peas into the ground. I am tempted to get these stones picked up in that, so... I may have a little look at that. If there are large stones or medium stones in shore, if there are small stones, then I'll look at the them as such. We are done. So we got some different greenhouses. So I thought, well, I was also tabbing through that, scrolling through now. I thought, saw these little foil tunnel, like not foil tunnel ones, these glass tunnel ones and that. So I forgot to remove this fruit I just spread on that. But yeah, also got a diesel tank as well. So 10,000 a sure. So we don't have to worry about diesel ever again. So. Yeah, I got a little water pump station over there, so we're pumping up the groundwater in that, so... In theory, we should be able to... There we go, pump up the water. But yeah, we've got these and that, so I've got a couple of apple trees. That was a little bit finicky in that, so... Yeah, we've got manure in, we've got a shipment of manure. And then, yeah, if we go down here, we've got the apple trees in that, and yeah. With these, you can... Actually, if I show you, so yeah, fertilizer, manure, and that, seeds, and that. I wasn't too sure about that, I think, for now. Whilst we kick things off, just... 
keep it steady going pace and that. So, at the moment, I've got everything on storing. So, the problem with that is going to be transport them and selling. So, we've got a couple of options. We've got auto load pallet traders. And there's a couple of them. There's one by top ace eight eight eight. Also, we can have the option for skid steers and that. Ooh, that's nice. That's popped up into the market, but it's 108 grand. But yeah, thing. So actually, that's actually going to be too bad for us, you know. A class scorpion. That's actually not too bad. So thinking, yeah, think, think that should be good. So I shall see how much will these take. Oh, water. Yeah, I need to find a better, better water source. I.e., something that is free. Action. What? I'm gonna do something a bit different. So, please tell me I've got this enabled. Yes. Automatic water pumping station. So, if I whack them here, there we go. That's that underway. And then if I whack one sh over here. There we go. So if we have a look now. That's a lot better. One million, two million capacity of war. So we got infinite war. Yeah, I should have done that have they know the uh, what's it this and that, but it is what it is and that, so Ooh, actually, put water in here, so... Ooh, okay, we got a lot of water on that side, though. That wasn't intended to be planned. But yeah, so now we are making our own produces. That is going to be really vital for us. But now, time to get out the Colty Plow. So, in my mod review on this, so... Yeah, Create fields, yes, please. Yeah, I think if we just do like a head and that, there we go. See, we are caught to plowing. Yeah, let's get right up to the edge of the road. So I'm pretty sure we can go to the road. Oh, yeah, we'll go to the road and over and out, so we've got access to across the road, so. And yeah, we can do this at, what, 10 miles an hour, so... But yeah, if you look at my mod view when I've done this, I was... I thought, alright, this case is a fast... Uh, what's it, sorry, a fast... Uh, what's the word? Cultivator, this car and that, nothing else to it. And then, when I got this out onto the road and that, or into the fields and that, I was like... Okay, this is something different. What am I hitting? Is this a sign? Oh no, I'm hitting what, a stump? Ah, right, so... I am going to be a bit cheeky. I will sell this shrill way. What? Huh? Why has it gone all grainy all of a sudden? It's gone all, like, blurry vision. That is weird. Why is it going all blurry? Like, going to the store, like, yeah, that is perfectly fine. Into the field and that. Ugh, that is weird. So, let me f try to reload this because. Yeah, it's got all blurry. Like, all the icons, you know, the money and that dates and time. Field info, that's all clear. But yeah, why is that got all blurry? So, alright, what I've done was I literally saved and reloaded the game, nothing. I deselected the equipment, like, just got rid of the equipment, and that seemed to solve it. So, oh yeah, now I'm stuck on something, so. Where is it to? 
Oh, yeah. I really hate these, you know, these play weeds and that. So yeah, what I'm just going to do is landscape, painting, go to grass because he's going to get all painted anyways over. Now nah, I'll try to go over that, but no, can't get rid of those. It's alright, because what did I use? Um, it was like one of the Husqvarna ones and that, so it was that one. <laughs> So, okay, this one works fine. No idea on why that happened, but anywho. Uh, I think, you know what, on the train track is just fine. What could possibly go wrong on that, so... Yeah, I think in something like that... Lovely jubbly. Ooh, actually, a train's coming. And there it goes. Didn't think he was sort of train, but you know, it was an effort was made. Okay, it's just in the road, so fine, fine, fine. Let's just dump it into our neighbor's field. There we go. How about now that is cleared? Touch wood now. Should be fine to actually do our field extension. That's well, yeah, it's taken us a long enough time. There we go. Lower set implement, please. Yeah, that's why I can't get rid of those green bits there. Oops. Okay, that's great fill, please. I thought I already was that. There we go. Take two or three or whatever is this is now, so... But yeah, I think that's the only stuff there I had issues with, so... All your stuff should be removed. And there we go. Doing a little bit of field extension. So we can do the that would be a nice. However, I did accidentally send back the planter and that, so... Okay, we can still drill um, peas with this and that, so... Yeah, I was hoping for you know, something a bit larger than that to use, but... Eh, it's way, it's way, at the end of the day. And now go towards the river. And yeah, it does leave a cultivate state because it's a cultivate plow, so it plows, then cultivates as you can see. I think it changes the rocks a little bit, does it? Because these were small stones. Oh yeah, so we've got some big stones there forming, so maybe we're we'll doing a little bit of rock picking that, so I think what I'll do is a little time lapse, get this all done. And I think for the rock picking, it's only going to be like a one-off, so you're going to be, be purchasing it, so... 9.5 meters, 10 miles an hour... Capacity of 2.500 meters? Ah, oh, it's not worth it, I don't think. Not for that, I don't think, to be fair. And I'm not going with the cheesy ones, that, so... There we go, something like that. White tires, lease. But yeah, let's get this done. I am going to go across this little path here, so I may hinder us in the future if we do get this land over here, but at the moment I still need to earn another 670 grand to get field 22, so I'm going to make some sacrifices. So yeah, let's get this done, and I'll see you. folks afterwards once we're done here.
As we're approaching a nice crisp evening here on Alma, Missouri, we are done. And also, you may have noticed we spun a wheel. And that is for converting all the rocks and that to lime, and we have done that. So, what I'm going to do is get rid of this lime. So, it's almost six o'clock. So, can we sell it? I think we can. Um, yeah, make sure that's back on normal economy. Because, yeah, I was just setting it on easy because I was doing a few things in the background involving the multiplayer side of things, you know, put the county funds bank account up. But, yeah, so if we look at our prices, Lime, I think, is going to be the best seller at the Lime facility in that. So, we have a look. Yeah, 400 versus 1500. So, we can take it to the side of everything container, sell it all. Or if I sell it here at the line production, it will take the average between the two, so that would be what, 1900 so like 950 and it will take an 8% cut, so we're still going to get double the money compared to the sell everything container, so I think that's what I'll do is, yeah, so that's sell, 18,000 years, and yeah, we'll get a bit of money coming in. Yeah, there we go. What's that? Seven grand? Yeah, that was worth, I think, because yeah, we had 18,000, 400 for a thousand a year, so. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. So, yeah, now what we can do is sell this because I do not need this anymore. And also, I had an idea, so I made a little addition to the farm. And I've added a little silo over here now, a little storage shed. For our pallets and that, so I should have done this first of all. But yeah, it does look a bit jarring, so can I soften that at all? Eh, not really. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best we can do. To be honest, it's not the greatest of slopes and that. Ooh, we do have a trailer in the used market, so I want to get a telehander in that, so I know we won't save our money in that to get 900 grand but I think something like a telehander in that could really help us a lot the trailer I'm not too fussed on at the moment because yeah, looking at our producers and that, so I think apples we're going to get a lot of that, aren't we, so actually I think I've got an idea, let's get some seeds and manure in, so seeds, like frozen manure, we're going to need a trader, so, I think, yeah, you know what, let's go and spin the wheel on whether or not we can get used or new equipment, because if we get used, then I can really go with that, however, if we need to get new, so, like, front loaders, or, like, skistier, maybe, so, cheapest one, 25 grand, Take handers, it's gonna be what 90 grand, yeah, for the Murdo one. There are cheaper ones here, but that's telescopic. 
That one's okay, but really I want like a JCB. Like, JCB, New Holland, like these two is my go to's along with the class. Or the more modern Manitou one, so. Yeah, I've got a couple of options, so let's go with spin the wheel. Do we get a tractor? I don't see the point in it. 24 miles an hour as well, so. Because, yeah, that is what a pin hook. So it's got a goosec frame. But it does have a pin hook on the rear, so. Will that attach to this? Yes, it will. It's just a GCP one that is struggles with it, so. Let's spin the wheel and see where we land. About bloody time, and where is Bob going? Uh, well, would it be quicker to go this way? Oh, well, he's on his own way, Nat, I'm guessing. I'm going to go this way now. I know I'll go this way a lot, Nat, but uh, yeah, I think this is a quick way, Nat. Uh, it's about 50-50, Nat, but... So yeah, we are all up and go. Got a little distributor as well because we've got some issues with the not the manure into the greenhouses, so that costed a grand. So yeah, that well that's what <laughs> that does. Man I'm, I'm absolutely losing it. It's Wednesday, haven't slept much, I had like what, two, three hours of sleep last night. Cause yeah, I got the mod review done. And yeah, I'd really want to do the map tour on that last night, but yeah, just couldn't do it. And then, yeah, got up early in that. I was like thinking, yep, yeah, I was up at, think what, half past two this morning? I thought, okay, have a bath, have a breakfast, get the mod review up in that, so, like release in that. So that involves like doing the thumbnail in that. And yeah, with Photoshop at the moment, still doing Photoshop in that, so it's a bit one of those little characteristics of getting used to in that. But yeah, also, yeah, on this, we've also got a Teander in that, or not Teander, a big grab in that, so. But yeah, as I was saying, I thought, yeah, I had, what, two hours left before I had to leave for work. I thought, okay, do the prep work, do a bit of research on the new map, the clean map, what was it, Neander, not Neanderthal, but something on the long news lines, pretty much. And yeah, I had it all done, had it edited on PlayStation, but then. Come half past five, I was like, fuck's sake, I had, to, I had to go to work then. Yeah, getting back at what, half past five again, and just. It's what it is with it, and. And, yeah, just. Map tour, got released very late this evening because, yeah, doing bike work and that. Try to get my bobber back onto the road. New spark plugs has been fit, but. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of a little wiring issue, so that's going to be sorted tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully my bobber will be back on the road after paying, what, well, deal was, what, three grand I bought for it and that, so, yeah, because I actually have a functional bike and that. Why am I rambling on like this? I don't know, just doing the journey and that. Try to make things, mix things up here, you know, off, you know, doing, not just say, bam, bam, action, action, doing stuff. Well, I can't be doing a lot of these episodes now, thinking, try to do a bit of a different format. Whether or not this works and that, whether or not you folks enjoy my little rambles and that. Who knows, maybe do a little series of, like, you know, a ramble series and that, so where I just, you know, play farm sim, ramble on, but the video will be dedicated to ramble, so topics of discussion, I don't know, again, I've got some ideas for content that, it's just having the time to do it, so. Also, one thing I will mention is I did get this field plowed and that, so, yeah, done that off camera, gone to the other bank account, and, yeah. So we're not really doing like a role play and such on this, I'm just <laughs> sort of saying what we do and just how it goes along in. So hopefully that will encourage the farmer on that field now to actually plant something. So, got any more contracts popping up? I very much doubt it. Nope. But yeah, so now we're back down to what, 13 grand? And actually the AI thought it was going to be close between me and the AI in that. I think the AI did pick the faster route, the shortest one. Because, yeah, both got the same top speed in that, so... But, yeah, I'm also thinking with the apples and that, do we go with more productions? 
Well, that's if the will allows it, so... We've got so many productions we could do with apples and that. Things like the apple... Like, think of apple honey and that. Apple juice and that. So many productions you could do with apples, but... But yeah, definitely worker chose best, but... They got park up in that, so... Poor juice error, yeah, she has cut there, just like, yeah, just... My went blank there for a moment. But anyways, back at the farm now. Uh, glad to say we can actually say we're back at the farm and that, so... Yeah, we've got a little distributor over here and that, so... We'll try to load it in manually and that. Because, yeah, I think where we place that second one on there... That little slope and that, uh, yeah, may not be the most smartest of ideas and that. So yeah, couldn't get the manure in. But see that fertilizer. Yeah, not going in, so that is absolutely lovely. And yeah, with how I got this placed in that. Is that actually even going in? Yeah, I thought I was supposed to be going in, but... There we go, that's going in. So that has filled up. So yeah, manure will get distributed in that. And how much is that going to take? And so, in terms with the usage of that season fertilizer, 240 litres a month. 480 and that, so if it's not too bad, that could be a lot worse. Yeah, that means we get a lot more apples being produced. Come on, just turn them around. Come on, I want to get this free now, so try drive it across then. There we go. Is it going in? Oh, you know what? Fuck you then. Oh, just put it into our distributor now. Yeah, skip it till seven. And then, yeah, everything should be all hunky dory now. But yeah, these greenhouses may not be my first option. I think something like animals I'll be personally gone with, but I ain't day, I'm not complaining. There we go. Seed and fertilizer is all going in. So yeah, that will distribute everything. Yeah, technically it's a production, but yeah, I don't re yeah, it's that grey area in that. I thought because we've got the greenhouses, it's only fair we add something like that, so yeah, we'll park this up over here. That she could do with repairing that trader and that, so yeah, the trader ain't gonna be too bad repairing. It's the bloody Tegander is gonna be the more expensive one. I seem to not gonna be using it for pulling as such, actually. You know what, let's save our money here because we've got 13 grand. And yeah, we don't need to lease any more equipment. But yeah, I just want to have that again, try to earn that 900,000 because. Yeah, we had what? Half of that? Then created a farm, got a bunch of equipment in. And yeah, Dusk has set it in. And if we have a little look, sort of see the large greenhouse and that, so manure's being distributed fine. Actually, why is none of that being distributed? Is it being distributed? Oh, let's look at the top. I know, no, it's all being distributed that, so we're going to have a lot of apples. Because, yeah, thousands of pallets we can put there, so that's going to be very useful for us, so we'll get some rest. And, yeah, say 5 in the morning, because, yeah, if we get any productions in that, I'll be hot on that. But, yeah, any productions in that will be done either between episodes or off camera in that. Subbing. So yes, please. We got our own one, so we can do that. But yeah, so it is five o'clock. Skipped ahead a little bit. How are we looking at the moment? So yeah, not, not too bad. Five thousand years of apples already. 
Actually, how much are apples worth in that? Hmm. Didn't really check on that. But yeah, as I mentioned, apple juice in that we can get. Apple on its own. Not too bad in that. Price is starting to go down in that. Of course, we're on normal economy at the moment. But yeah, the price fluctuation doesn't really do too much in that. And in terms of possible productions in that, again, depends on the wheel in that. But yeah, we're going to add some things to the wheel. For example, you know, sell like propane in that. So yeah, got the juice factory, 40,000 to purchase. So that could be on the list. Or we'll get the one by Mrs. Umaton on that. That will look a lot better, and then that, that can actually fit on the farming app. So, you know, have a couple of these about in our back garden, and that little hut's in that. Just imagine that. Actually, that would look nice. Go like one, two, at least two now, maybe three, depending on the terrain in that. But yeah, so next time we're going to need to plant lentils, we need to line the fields. But yeah, we've got a lot of apples in that. Any more contracts popped up yet? Nope. Ah, oh, dang it. A lot of them's already been like, field one, that's been done in that. So, we don't have many fields left to do in that. So, yeah, field eight's down there. So, we've got... 34, 28. But again, things like this. What the fuck's going on there? But yeah, there's our field. 20 tool. 901,000 we need. So we need 890,000 basically. So. And yeah, there's no more trees cut down in that. So. May need to get a bit creative in that because. Roy. Is ready to harvest in as soon as two months. So. Oh, uh, yeah. How am I going to earn 900 grand in two months? We're going to need the wheel to help us with that because I do not know. But, hey, mate, so that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Throw a comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please stir. But, for as you do, hope you're stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all. A uh, very soon.